Hey yo everybody and welcome back uh, to Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. I am your host as always, Old Blue Eyes 41. And uh, last episode we were able to figure out that we are now in present day West London or East London, I guess now because we walked over to East London. Um, need to get you some real weapons. Those ancient artifacts ain't gonna do shit against licks with guns. You need to sell some junk. I bet that necklace would fetch a tidy sum. Never. Oh, terribly sorry, your lordship. Just trying to save your blood sucking eye, this all. That's funny. This dude really wants us to sell that amulet of St. Jude. I got a feeling he might be a bad guy for some reason. Um, I don't really remember this part of the game too well, so maybe is, maybe isn't. Um. Yeah, but uh, we also, last episode, we figured out that we were in present-day London, that Aneska might be still alive if she was embraced as a vampire, or at least kept good with cool blood. Uh, and we saw some of the greatest club dancing and heard some of the greatest techno of all time. So, yeah. And we are now going to go, this is Bridge Haven. This must be our haven. Where we can go to store stuff in the vault, which we might actually. Uh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and save, and this is episode 23. Finally got my saves back on point. Uh, we actually are gonna drop the revolver off in here. And the brass nuts. I got so much ammo, that's gonna be tight. Let's go ahead and just do this real quick. I know everybody's favorite part of these games, inventory management, I actually don't need this either. Uh, this I'll hang on to, because I might get a character I want to teach fire spells to. Kristoff already has it, so he's not worried about it. Focus shadow for that down there for now. Alright, cool. Inventory is managed, he doesn't have much, he just got some shoddy shells, and he's got a pistol but no ammo. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm controlling pink now. Okay, let's roll Kristoff, our hero. Let's go around the building, maybe. I want to use the map, but every time I look at it, it just gives me a seizure. So I can't. I just can't even do it. Uh, Tower of London. Um, okay. I didn't realize the Tower of London was in this creepy-ass bridge area. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, geography is not my forte. Is Prague in London? Like, I, I, I need to look that up. Because we went from Prague to London, and maybe we just... Prague is in London. And I'm dumb. This is a very, very strong possibility. Here's the bobbies. I'll sign a flashlight in his face. I think if you accidentally click on them, it aggros them. I think and that's what I was doing uh, when they were attacking me and stuff. They're like, you're looking at me funny, dude. Even though I didn't actually, like, start to attack or anything. And this dude, Pink, really wants us to sell that necklace to St. Jude for some reason. I wonder why, man. I'm just still pondering that. What, okay, is, well, this bridge goes onto a boat. What's up with this boat? Cargo ship locked. Okay. Uh, West, well, West London, uh, East London seems like a real boring-ass place. Just locked doors in a haven. What's up here? Got a homie with an umbrella. Good for you, dude. This is where we came in, isn't it? Well, here we go. Seizure map. We begin. Okay. Oh, there's the brothel up in that corner, so... Um, what direction is north? What direction we're facing? I just have no idea. I think it's. The, I think this is the ship. Yeah, so it should be up in there. You know what? The map actually did some good. Um, what? We'll try going the other way. If it's the other way and it's up and on the left, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, yeah. 
I guess I'm just gonna move on with my life and play the video game, but <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty livid. No, yeah, this is the Haven. I was right. Okay. And now in order to get to this theater, maybe it's on the upper level, not the lower level. Maybe we just left right by the door. And if that's the case, well, uh, Keller and me stupid. Uh, there's that chick. She's got pink hair. She's hella goth. Real tight. The goth scene in London is alive and well. Oh, yeah. You know what? Brace that tender art of yours, Chris. These damn set eyed snakes ghoul the working girls and boys and sell them to mortals and kindred alike. Kindred pay to feed on the poor harlots, and the set eyes feed on the mortal customers. The juice bags leave tired, but they never suspect a thing. Cozy as you please. The mistress of the place is a set eye called Lucretia. She sells some of their ghoul slaves to the Sabbat in America and runs drugs and weapons through those cargo ships of yours. Maybe she's picking up some extra cash, moving mud for the fiends. I also don't remember figuring out why we have to go to New York. Kristoff just kind of comes out of the blue and says, yeah, New York. And it's like, okay, bro. Um, that's just a patron. Hey, boys. I've got what you want. Oh, now talk over each other. you don't even know what I want. Fresh blood. I'll take it back. I guess you do know after all. Look at those polygonal boobies. So hot. It's like, get out of here. Uh, let's talk to Lily. Don't kill me! I'm not one of the Sedites. I'm from Clan Toreador. Prove it. Who are Cry Cry Cry? I'll flush uh, those white You cheeks. mean the American band Cry Cry Cry? Aren't they that acoustic trio that even though they're all songwriters only does covers of songs by other groups and performs the most depressing- Enough! She's a Tory, alright. Please protect me! I'll help you with whatever you need! Perhaps you will be a valuable ally. Oh, thank you. I'm just picking Thank up every character playing. I can right now. <laughs> I've been trapped in that damn brothel for nearly a year. I was kidnapped by a handsome Sedite who came to see oh, me upstairs. sing in a club. Oh, flesh the snakes wanted you cheeks. to give the mortal some bloody good fun, eh? Slip my little taste of Cain's kiss, did ya? Most mortals love the delirium that comes from being a blood donor to a vampire. Especially the way I do it. Where is their leader? We damn. have questions about Mad sexual. Shipping. That would be Lucretia. She's horribly powerful. She lives in the temple of Set below the brothel. I can't truly be free of her blood bond until she's dead. If anyone knows about shipping, it's her. She knows everything the Setites know. Great. How do we get to her? In the storage area. There's a locked door behind a cheesy looking stage backdrop of the Valley of Kings. There must be some secret way to open the door, Come but upstairs. I don't know what it is. I'll flush those white cheeks. Man, this is a hell of a smart brothel, too, because what they do is they bring humans in, they have vampires feeding on the humans, and then they have other vampires come in and feed off them. So it's like a triple, you know, you know joint. What does she have? She has absolutely nothing, so... Luckily, we have a pistol and some ammo for you, Chica. I'm sure this is going to be just like them using blood, and they're just going to crank all over the place. And their bullets are just going to be flying. This is going to be like a John Woo film out here. Uh, these are just chicks. Let's ride. Um, I actually do kind of remember this place now that, I, now that I've seen it. Here's the stage. I passed by a door I thought I could open. But maybe I was wrong. Uh, yeah, I guess. What? Oh, well. 
I'm just, uh, oh, I saw it, like, shine like that, and I thought, when my mouse went over it, I thought that was totally, like, something I could open. Uh-oh, Super Mario boys, let's go ahead and jump into the awkward temple level. Or the creepy pyramids level. Or the obviously destroyed ruin. Oh, whoa. Did that highlight when I... See, that, it did it again. Like, I totally thought it highlighted, but it was just a graphical glitch. Do 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 do. Yeah. And on we go. Oh, don't use that, bro. Okay, this is just a storeroom. I thought this would get us where we wanted to be. Uh, Pink is just obviously chilling upstairs with the shoddy. He doesn't want to go down there. He's scared of the dark, obviously. Uh, this. Oh, this is the door we could use. Okay, that's what we need to do. Ha. Huh. At least we can get away from the chick that's saying, come upstairs, because... Kristoff is a chaste individual, man. He's only got eyes for a Nesca, so you better stay away, harlots. Uh... Wow. That actually, uh, that actually got me a little bit. That's a pretty good sound effect. It came out out of nowhere. Like, I can't believe it waited that long to play that for the first time. Or maybe it's my first time just hearing it, but jeez. Alright, you chicos. I feel like I need to get... Don't click on them. Sorry, what's the pleasure? <laughs> um... Let's see... This is a effing maze. No. They said downstairs. Okay. Let me go down here one more time. I'm gonna be hell upset. There's like a secret door around here that I'm just like really botching on finding. Oh lord. Oh lord. Doesn't matter. My coterie is so, so afraid of this basement down here. Damn, what was that? Uh, so uh, afraid of the basement, they just ignore it completely, which is okay. Cool, guys. Appreciate ya. Is there anywhere else to go? There's definitely got to be something down here. Girl, I don't even see an upstairs, dude. Because I would definitely go there, because that's probably where something cool is. I just don't want to go there with you. I want to go there to slay vampires. Uh, damn, it's a therapist-ass looking couch if I've ever seen it. These dudes really need some help. That door will not open. I'm about to just shoot someone in the face. There we go. Let's let's get let's get it done, boys. Maybe that maybe that maybe that'll get something happening. We definitely just killed a random mass pedestrian and didn't lose uh, humanity, though. I guess maybe if one of if I start it and one of my Kota Ray finishes it, you know, it's really not that bad of a thing. Drop some money and she respawned pretty much instantly. No, she's still alive, but dead. I can't target her anymore. Neither of these chicks can. Upstairs, what's your pleasure Flush those wide see that's what's happening it, it feels like there's a door behind here like it's trying to highlight what am I missing
I'm missing something mad obvious, I'm sure. Maybe there's got to be something we do from the stage. Can we do something at the podium? What in the F? Pull the fire alarm, maybe? No. Dear God. I know. Oh, look at that. That is a switch. I knew there was a secret down here. I knew it. God, these bastards. That little tiny pixel hunt of a switch. Puzzles like that really irk me off. Because it's like, uh, like, at least give me some kind of a sign. Don't make it two pixels wide in a dark ass corner and barely rendered. Or at least give me some hint that it's down there. Oh, they always go in through the... Oh, I guess they did. Alright. Uh, this is not tight. This guy is whooping me up. Uh, we haven't done any damage to this guy at all. Guns are not tight. I need to find a sword and get back to it. I'm really now regretting my sword and buying that ring. Eh, maybe not. Okay. All right. I see what it, the, the gun's value now. Uh, that's a stake. We might need that depending on how much ammo <laughs> we actually have with these guns. Oh, this guy's got a sword. He's pretty smart. Oh, this he summoned a snake on my ass. I'm gonna do this. Drop a potent. Drop a fortitude. And we might even just bust out the stake on these dudes. To be honest with you. I wish there was a way to quick change weapons. Yeah, my first off just might straight up use the stake for this part of the game. And just let everybody else shoot. Oh man, one of them are chopping on uh, chopping on pink. That's not tight. Oh what? Where did you come from? Uh, so far, everybody's shooting pretty good. I'm sure the next guy that's going to need these is going to be pink. I mean, I almost use both of my clips. And if they if they use ammo like us, rather than like having kind of an infinite ammo system thing... Uh, she just she's throwing knives now. I don't even know where she got throwing knives from. Pink is just standing around, really not doing anything. Oh, he uses claw ability. Okay, well, that's tight. He's a, I forgot he does that. Alright, well, let's give him each stakes now. He's got five of those left. Hey, Super Chris, dope. Look at old set gobbling up Osiris. Filthy snakes. Their worship of set is frightening. I've seen such horrible things. Really? Them worshiping a snake god is framing the vampire world. Uh, some people just gotta be dramatic, I guess. She's obviously the Alex Jones of the Vampire Masquerade world. Cause that was that was an egregious overstatement. Oh, what are those? Shotgun shells. Okay, it's for our boy. Paint can take those. He's got a little bit of those left. Uh... We're gonna rock a Slarity. We're really gonna. St oh, so we staked him. He's. Oh my. St oh, it takes your stake away. That's not tight. You really don't shoot faster. You attack faster and stuff, but you really don't shoot faster. Dang, he's just robo copping that.
All right, uh, I can't move, and I'm out of ammo. Fisticuffs, dude. Uh, he is not doing any damage. Oh, dang. Our Chica got killed. That's not, that's not tight. Do I have Feral Claws? No. What a disaster. Where's my fire? Oh, that's not tight. Uh oh, this is not, this is not good. How did, like, I just don't get how sometimes they just bite me, like, on command. Whenever I try to bite anybody anytime, they're like, no. Uh. Yeah. I don't have any scrolls of Awaken. Which is not tight. I haven't saved in a while. You know what? I'm a trooper. We're gonna troop on. Hopefully we find one and all is fine and dandy in the world. But I got a feeling that's not gonna be the case. We're gonna pick these stakes up just because. There's Kristoff's flashlight from his dead body. I can't believe both those homies actually got sacked like that. Oh, there's switches in here. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the case. How much money do I have? 810? Really forgot what I was doing. Way to go, bud. I can't believe I got both those guys. Like, the first co like combat was not that bad, and this one was like psh, dumb. You you're dead. Yeah, maybe there's only one switch for this door. Oh yeah. Duh. Pff, uh. I totally knew that. Go ahead, rock up. What are you what are you doing? Oh he's dazed. Oh my god. Those that never works for me. Like, for real, for real? This game is really trying to give me the biz right now. Maybe I'll let the beast take over. Uh well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Totally not awkward at all. I can't believe I'll have to right by this the first time. Brace that tender up. Yeah, we're gonna, now we look now we can skip all the talking and we'll be there. We'll be back to where we were in no time, which is kind of funny. Hey. Don't. Yeah, okay. valuable ally. Let's ride. God, now that you kind of know where to go, it's like, okay. Boom, 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 boom. I guess that was kind of half the madness in these games, was trying to figure out the awkward clues the devs leave you to do things that... 
you really don't like understand or whatever. Uh, sometimes they, they like when you're developing a game, you must these things is like so obvious sometimes, and you're just like Shh, not. You're like, oh shit, it's not. It doesn't make any sense. But while you're like writing it and doing it, you're like, oh yeah, man, the player will definitely understand that. Oh, he found the book of runes, and there's runes on the wall. He needs to use the book on the runes, but. You know, that's not always the way it works, <laughs> especially for the player. Sometimes that, that can be relatively obscure. When you're creating quests in games, uh, streamlining them is your, your number one goal, I think. Uh, let's give her, yeah, what, would I give, what was I going to give her? This pistol and a couple of clips. Yeah, they really need to give your, um, uh, I don't know what Kristoff's doing. Kristoff's just having a... Having a seizure of strength. I don't even know if she's going to be in a group for very long, but whatever. She's got fireball now. Okay. Do, 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 do. She's a Todor, a Tudor, I think is what she said she was. And those are kind of like the nobles. Uh, we ran into some... Tu oh, I closed it. Some Tudors, I think. Um... Is this guy still stuck? Dude, he loves getting stuck on that damn trash can. I have no idea why. Straight trash can humper. Alright, now let's be ready for the Temple of Set. Uh, I should have done this the first time I walked in here, but of course I am a donkey. Um, let's go ahead and get to, to clicking. Ooh, let's give you the biz. Oh, oh. Run, run, Kristoff. Oh, you're dazed, of course. Of course you are. You're just kind of like running around without really doing anything. I need to do get my fire spells out. I wish I'd have done that earlier. I want to rock flame ring. Damn, they killed everybody. I oh, know they only killed him. Yeah, pistols just don't get it done. What is my chick doing, dude? She's just using blood doing something. Heal up, dude. Of course, of course. And these dudes are just like patiently waiting in line to kill my ass. What is she doing and where? Starving. I'm dying. Uh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> Brutal, dude. Yeah, I really wish I hadn't sold that sword now. That was a huge botch. Um. Go ahead and give her this for now. So she'll start out with those six shots and then move on to that one. He's got a shotty, so hopefully he'll be tight. Uh, let's give her a blood bag. Uh, she's got a couple blood bags. Give it back. Okay. Let's uh, let's do this. We're going to win this fight this time. I'm actually going to set my disciplines up before I go riding in. Yeah, this is a way better damaging spell, and we're actually going to need these now. Uh, fortitude. Alright, well, yeah, cool. Let's ride. Feeling cute, might kill a vampire today. Kristoff. Yeah, let's try not to run in there and aggro all of them. Okay, see that? 
Let's see, that's what I'm talking about, critical hits. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, run away, run away. Get in there, Kristoff. Dude, these guys are not taking any damage. Like, I don't get it. It's supposed to do 65 bashing, but either I'm never hitting, or these guys just have god tier defense right now. Because they're just punching me to death, dude. Like, it's kind of sad. Oh, I'm going through clips now. Oh, we got one. Yeah, we got two. Got three. Oh, we actually might win this battle. Oh, out of ammo. What do you know? Brass nuts, baby. Glad I didn't put these away this time. I'm pummeling stuff with the brass nuts now. All right, brass nuts are actually seem relatively effective, so. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep that in mind. Now we need to use awaken on my girl. I am weak with lack of precious. Blood. To the with uh oh, now that I got a pair of brass knucks, I'm really not afraid of these dudes. For some reason, my regular hand was horrible, but these brass knucks are baller. Uh, there he's dead. I don't not worry about him. Okay, ended up pretty useless. We are pretty much resistant to most diseases and stuff. Um, she definitely has blood bags. Use them, Chica. I guess I should say the same to Kristoff here. Take this pistol. That's cool. You can do that. Kristoff has the brass nuts, and he's kind of brutal with them. I'm going to probably go about uh, five minutes over today just because of the, uh, the whole amount of death is pretty sad. Kill these dudes, get the XP. Oh, he got me with the awe, oh, dude. I hate that. Get this dude with the sword. He's the most annoying. I never thought I'd have to say that in the modern day era of, of this game. Get rid of the dude with the sword. Let the ones with the guns kind of roam around. Oh, of course, there's uh, Eric, or Pink, Eric. He does remind me of Eric a little bit, though. There's Pink just getting chomped on. Oh, of course, he failed it. What a nerd. Dude, can you hit? You're supposed to be a beast, bro. Get in there, get in there. Well, Kristoff's being a beast. All right. Get that blood, Kristoff. I can dig it, dude. All right. Well, that's wholly acceptable. Got whole three dollars. Bang, bang. Oh, well, there's more of these homies. Hit up, hit up some blood strength. Really get the strength cranking. Oh, yeah, we've seen this. Okay, cool. Yeah, the Sedites. Oh, they teleported me all over the place. This is bad for this guy. All of a sudden, he was standing alone, and all three of us cut scene teleported right into his face. Nope, they dazed Eric. Well, pretty okay. I'm sure he's almost out of shotgun shells anyways. Nope, he just shot dude in the back of the head. They tell me I'm out of shells. Um, Plasma bag. I'm okay with finding that. Let's give one or two to Pinky over here. Get, get, get in there. Eyes of the Serpent. That's what they've been using on me. I'm going to actually drop this because that seems like a relatively potent spell. 
Uh, this has got 11 bullets in it. That one's has zero. Maybe she'll start using that one when hers runs out. I think it already did. Uh, let's give her a stake, too. That kind of sucks that the stake disappears when you actually stake the vampire with it. I mean, it makes total sense. But it also is kind of, kind of some bullshit. Alright, on the next episode, we will continue exploring this uh, Temple of Set and trying to find our dearest Nesca. And Niske. And I will see you guys then.